I can't believe you haven't been on Loose Women before. What's, well, how's this happened? I don't know. I'm, I'm a big fan. I think you're brilliant, all of you. Oh, thank I you. really do. I mean that. They're really good. I think a, a lot I feel of... like I'm back in the band. <laughs> <laughs> I love being with a group of girls, so it's oh. fantastic. Yes, because that must be... We've often talked about that mm. when you were with the, mm. your girls and, and when, when you know, groups split, that's suddenly doing your first solo thing. Yeah. And yeah. then thinking, oh, I haven't got my mates with yeah, me. Yeah, I, I prefer, if I'm honest, I like being around other women and that sort of camaraderie. Mm. So it is an adjustment. So it's nice to be here with Listen, you. Listen, we, we yeah. saw there on, the, on that little montage that we did um, yeah. all your hit singles. So, you know, you had a, a really successful solo career. But you haven't released a single for, what, 12, about 12, 12 years, years yeah. until yeah. now. I know. And so this is, um, yeah, this is Angels in Chains, but this has got a very poignant reason that you did this single. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure some of you must be George Michael fans. All Absolutely. of us. Yeah, yeah, all of us. And I, I was, you know, since I was a little girl, I loved Wham. And um, I was, I've always written music and I was, you know, for, for a number of years I was writing songs, but I, it was kind of going from that transition from the, like, hot pants girl to growing up, you know, what's that going to be like? And I was a bit scared, if I'm honest. And, um, and I was in the middle of writing an album and then, sadly, George died. And, and so I didn't know what to do with my feelings because he's one of those friends that I didn't see all the time, but when I did, it was straight honesty. You know, that, yeah. like, you go... So yeah. just straight honest to the point and and also he was always there for me when the chips hit the fan so to speak yeah i think that was really well documented wasn't yeah. it you went and stayed with him yeah abroad and he really looked after yeah him. it's like a sort of very fatherly good friend to me and so um when i found out he died i was just i didn't know what to do my feeling did you find out? i found out on twitter oh, no. which was quite upset i was like i just opened some presents you know, for Christmas. And um, so anyway, I put the, my sadness into a song and, um, and Norm and the record company said, you should release that. And I was really scared to do it, yeah. you know, because is it going to be the right thing to mm. do? And normally I would ask George on something. And is he'd this... be really honest. Yeah. I'll yeah. see him. Oh God, it was just, I can't remember. It's one of those relationships, you know, like, yeah. you know, you go, oh my God, okay. So it was yeah. always, but he was str He was always very, very sort of straight with me. And um, so anyway, this song is a tribute to him. And I got together with all of his musical family who actually kind of gave me the courage to do it. They all sang on it. They all played it, played on it. And they were amazing. You said you, you watched the show regularly. Yeah, and that you it. were really impressed with our body stories. I campaign. loved it. When you yeah. did that, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. When I saw you all in your pants, I just thought, <laughs> I love you. I love you for doing that. But I keep showing that picture. <laughs> but Jerry, when you when you were in the Spice Girls, a lot has been written about your own battles with your yeah. weight and the other girls too. Yeah. And that you know, having met you all over the years, I know your weight. All, you, all of you, it fluctuated. And was there a kind of competitive element too, that because you were all in the band together, you know, you were all trying to outdo I, it? I don't, do you know what, actually, for me, mine was a very personal journey. And we brought up um, mine, I think for me, like food, it can be used in, as a coping mechanism. We can stuff our feelings, starve our feelings. You know, obviously, I think there's pressure on guys now, mm. you know, to be certain weights, all of it. And actually, you know, for me, that was my, I'd lost my father, and that's when it all really kicked off, I'd stopped eating, you know, and it was a tool that stopped working, basically. And I think there's a lot of pressure, you know, on all women, you know. But and particularly that, in a girl band. I mean, you are from... Yeah, oh, yeah well, it's, just a, it's a heightened magazine. version of it. That's yeah. why I love seeing you all, because... What I've learned is that no matter, you know, and it sounds a cliche, and forgive me, but, you know, saying very simply, we're all different shapes and sizes. Some of us are flamingos, some of us are little bears. We're all, we are some what we are. Some of us are penguins. You, like, yeah. you look like a <laughs> doll, mate. I can't believe how tiny you are. You just had a five-month-old. If people can't see on to but you're like a tiny little doll, mm, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like a little bird. But I don't know, with women, I, I, I like to see curves, I, I like long... All of yeah. it is good. Do you yeah. think you could say now, though, Jerry, that you've conquered your uh, attitude to food, that your attitude to food now is a healthy one, mm. or do you still I have to check yourself? I think I definitely have, if I'm honest, important to check myself. Didn't have that balance, definitely. Didn't yeah. Robbie Williams help you with that as well? You became friends with Robbie, yeah, didn't you? Do you know what? I have to say, he definitely told me, pointed me in the right direction, yeah. you know, of where to go to get help on, because he spotted it, I was very bulimic. Yeah. And he was going, you need to 
So, and, and I think it's one of those things, like when you're having a problem, it's quite ouchy when someone points it yeah. out. Yeah. He yeah. actually said a salute, gave me a solution, maybe six months before I actually took it. So I was very grateful for that. Yeah. So if you hadn't have done that, where do you think that might have I'm led sure you? it may perhaps it would have got there eventually, but you know, you will get, get different bottoms, you know, of but thankfully managed to you know sort which I'm incredibly mm. grateful because I want to be a good role model for my own daughter and Yeah, and I think again yeah. like you said sharing, which is what we I do love on the show all the time. I love it when the you fact you talk so about it and you talk you've talked yeah. about it. You haven't tried to hide the fact you have no. an eating disorder and that you said you still have to, you know, keep an eye on it and yeah. But having a, a child kind of... Yeah, I think expected. that kicked it into, you know, feet on the ground. Yeah. And actually, what I learnt is I don't really think it's about the food or the body shape. No, Normally no. it's what's underneath it. Yeah.